I'm Donna Warfield from the class of 2017. I'm a theater major, and last summer I was the Slater Fellow in Stage Management at Creed Repertory Theater in Creed, Colorado. So Creed Repertory Theater is this really cool theater company in the, kind of the middle of nowhere, Colorado. It's up in the mountains. There's the main stage theater, is that building right there. There's a giant cliff. <laughs> and um, it's about like an hour and a half from any larger towns, but it's like a destination location, and because it's a repertory theater, they do shows, not just a show runs for a month and then another show runs for a month, but like seven to 10 shows happen, and they're basically all running throughout the summer at the two spaces, which there's the main stage there, and then that's the Ruth Humphrey Brown Theater, which is sort of a black box space, like our black box. In addition to bringing seven to, show, seven to 10 shows every summer, they have a nationally recognized education program that does outreach to children in Colorado and in surrounding states for workshops in theater and things like that. So my official title while I was there was a production assistant for the stage management team, which was led by my site supervisor and the production stage manager, Devin Mugo. So for people who don't necessarily know a lot about theater and stage management, stage management is kind of like the logistical part of the director. So the director can focus on art and then the stage manager can worry about where the set pieces are and where everyone needs to be and basically the communication point between the director and the cast and the director and all of the designers. So you have the stage manager and then you have assistant stage managers and then below that is production <laughs> assistant. So I was kind of at the bottom of the line but learning a lot from everyone around me and uh, also the nature of working in a smaller theater company like CRT and also like Cornell's theater department is you can't just do one thing. So I was production assistant focusing on stage management but I also helped out with props when they needed it and I helped out with the company manager making company meals when she needed it and things like that. But my main uh, jobs throughout the summer was I was on run crew for two of the main stage shows, The Curious Case of the Watson Intelligence, which is the picture here, and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, which was the big musical. Um, my more responsibility position was that I got to be an assistant stage manager for a kid's show called Rodeo and Juliet. And one of the biggest responsibilities I had over the summer was working changeovers, which because it's repertory theater, that's taking one set out and putting a whole new set in. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So my first thing was being on Run Crew, and basically what Run Crew is are those people who traditionally we stereotypically think of them in black, like moving furniture in the dark. But kind of the direction that most theater is going these days is that Run Crew is part of the world and in costume. So I was in costume for both of my Run Crew experiences. There's me as a maid for Dirty Rotten Scoundrels because it was in a hotel. And then for Watson, I was just in this sort of aesthetic, darker outfit because it was kind of a dystopic type feeling. This is a picture of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. And so for both shows that I was on Run Crew, I was moving things on stage, but additionally for Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, I was running the fly system, which means I was pulling things in and out that would come up from above the stage, like chandeliers and different lights and stuff. And we do have a fly system here at Cornell, but I had never really run one before, so that was a new experience for me. So my bigger responsibility being assistant stage manager for Rodeo and Juliet, the way that show worked is basically it's like a three week long kind of camp type setting where kids come and they rehearse all day every day for like three weeks and then at the end of that three weeks they do the show. And um, as an ASM I got to make a run sheet for the first time, like I've used them and I've known what they were but I've never made my own. And here's just a sample from it and mine ended up being like this 11 page document and it just tells you everything that happens. <laughs> So when actors enter and exit and where they're coming from, which for this show was really fun because it was in the round, so there were four entrances and exits. So you can't just say stage left or stage right because it's in the round and stage left and stage right don't exist. But um, <laughs> so also tracking props. So when does this prop, this prop exits from VOM A and then someone needs it in VOM D so I need to get it there before it needs to go on and things like that. So changeovers was kind of the thing I was most scared of going into the summer because I don't work with tools a lot. That's not really my thing. But um, it was a really good opportunity for me to learn more about that and be comfortable with that because I think it's important for theater artists to be comfortable holding tools. And for an idea of how the changeovers work, there were five shows in the Ruth Humphrey Brown Theater throughout the summer and that was the stage where I did every changeover that happened there. And I could have up to like three changeovers in a day. And what that would mean is I wake up in the morning and my first job is to go do a changeover, which is usually like two to four hours. 
and then after the changeover, so we would take that whole set out and store it in the back of the theater and also in a trailer outside, and then bring in from a different trailer the set for the next show that's happening and build it all. And it's not just making it look pretty, but also making sure it's safe, because actors are going to perform on it. And then maybe I'm running that show for a matinee, in the case of Watson, and then doing another changeover, because there's an evening performance, and then I kind of get a break during that evening performance, because it's a show that I'm not doing, and then coming back and doing another changeover, because there's an improv show that happens at night. <laughs> so really long days, but really rewarding, and one of the cool things about being on changeover teams is being involved in shows that I wasn't necessarily on the run crew for, like this is a picture of me putting in some carpet for a show called The History Room, which was actually written by Cornell alum Charlie Thurston, and I wasn't running that show, so I wasn't required to be there for every performance, but I was so familiar with the set from putting it in and taking it out that I was still a part of that experience. Project outcomes. CRT had a successful season, and with art, what do you mean by successful? I mean, people came to see our shows, we had some <laughs> sold out performances, we had good reviews, and we just got good responses. We got to share theater with people from Colorado and from all around the world, as it is kind of a tourist location. And I got to inspire children through the kids' show, which I'd never worked with kids before, and I was skeptical about it, <laughs> but they were awesome. And one of the coolest things was we actually got a handwritten letter from someone after they came to see Watson. And here's just one of the quotes from it. I want to thank everyone who was a part of Watson, both the actors and the often overlooked deuteragonist of performance art, the techies, which is me. <laughs> but I learned so much while I was at CRT. I obviously learned stage management skills, which is what I was there for, like paperwork and using a fly system and running changeovers. But I also learned a lot of life skills, like managing time while working six days a week. In theater, that's generally how it is. You have one dark day. So our dark day was Monday. And otherwise, I was usually working really long days, starting in the morning and ending at night. And being able to do that and still enjoy what I'm doing and still have time to talk to my mom and have friendships and go grocery shopping and things like that. Working on a team, that's the whole stage management team right there. And um, we had weekly brunches at ARPS in town. It's a good place. And, um, but uh, working on a team is not just relevant for theater, but for anything, basically, I could do in my life. And living with the people you work with, CRT is a really, Crete is a really small town, and CRT houses all of their, for the most part, all of their summer employees, because it's only a summer season. They house them, and you're all living together, which happens a lot more in theater than I would say in some other <laughs> careers. <laughs> so I should be used to doing that. <laughs> Internship impact, I now have connections in the professional theater world in Colorado and beyond because of the connections they have with other people. Experience working with children furthered my experiences through being an assistant stage manager for Rodeo and Juliet. I continued to develop my stage management skills from learning from my sponsor, Devin. I got to work on new shows I hadn't heard of before, shows that hadn't premiered, like The History Room. I kind of found a new favorite in The Curious Case of the Watson Intelligence. But I think most importantly, I gained confidence that theater is a viable career, and it's what I want to do based on seeing all these other people who have managed to do it, and confirmed that I really love this art. And it kind of gave me a leg up on applications for the next step for me, which was I was looking at stage management apprenticeships. And I recently accepted one in Georgia at Serenby Playhouse outside of Atlanta, and I'll be starting a one-year contract with them next month. <laughs> so lastly, I would just like to thank my donors, Bob Slater from the class of 60 and Dixie Prance Slater from the class of 64, my site supervisor, Devin, who's pictured with me there, and my faculty sponsor, Geneve West. Thank you. <laughs>